Yes, mate, how you doing? Welcome to Josh Dross Ash. Welcome, you beautiful human. Listen, the symbolism God's has blessed us with another reaction. And today we are here to watch Full Metal Jacket. This, this has been one of those movies, yeah, that's just been constantly recommended in the comment section. I put a vote out yesterday just to see if it win, and of course it wins. But then I see in the comment section, and people are saying that the first half of the movie is a masterpiece. But the second half is so shit. So, I don't know what, like, did the director die during the movie or something? Do you know what I mean? Before we get into it, head down to my Patreon. Check out the full left reaction. I love you. Let's get into this. <clears throat> Goodbye, my sweet, hello, Vietnam. I love that. See, look, immediately, yeah, you get into this movie and it's hello, Vietnam, but like shaving their heads. Look at the symbolisms here, right? Their hair represents the trees in Vietnam and the razor represents the napalm and that's what the Americans going to do to the landscape of Vietnam. Therefore, hello, Vietnam, symbolisms. Wow, this is sad, man. Like, imagine just going from, like, imagine now, right? Russia attacked us. We'll go from playing our PS5s to this guy shaving our heads like this. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be served. How can you not laugh here? Do you know what I mean? If you survive recruit training, you will be a weapon. <coughs> You will be a minister of death praying for war. Oh my God, a minister of death praying for war. This man is going to decentize the shit out of your fucking head. Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. I am hard, but I am fair. There is no racial bigotry here. Yeah, you can't. He's going to treat all of you the same way. That's it. Get from now on, your private snowball. Do you like that name? Uh, yes, sir. Man sounds like DMX. Jesus. Oh, don't serve fried chicken and watermelon on a daily basis in my mess hall. <laughs> <laughs> John Wayne, is this me? Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 bro, bro. This guy's got balls. You little piece of shit, you look like a fucking worm. I bet it was you. <laughs> no, no, sir. Sir, I said it, sir. Oh my god, he's gonna dish you from your toes to the top of your fucking head, mate. I like you. You can come over to my house, my sister. What? How can you not laugh? I got your name. I got your ass. You will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. Now get up. I'll be like, how is this supposed to get me ready for war, bro? I know you're trying to desynthesize and you'll be dissing your own sister. Are you shook up? Are you nervous? Nervous. Sir! <laughs> he didn't say anything. Sir. sir! How tall are you, Private? Sir, five foot nine, sir! Five foot nine. I didn't know they stacked shit that high. <laughs> and little guys do that on dating apps. Where in hell are you from anyway, Private? Sir, Texas, sir! Oh shit. There you go. You just gave him more ammunition. You're the kind of guy that would a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. How is he coming in with so many swear Did words? Your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I bet they regret that. You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. <coughs> Eminem cannot diss this guy, bro. This man has diss tracks for days in his head. From now on, you're Gomer Pyle. Gomer Pyle? What does that even mean? Do you think I'm funny? Sir, no, sir. Then Say yes. Disgusting grin off your face. Sir, yes, sir. Because you're funny, bro. How can I not laugh? Oh, shit. That would be me. That's so hard not to laugh. To wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull. <laughs> oh, shit. Get on your knees, scumbag. Oh, my. Is he going to actually skull? I was about to say, is he going to skull him in front of everyone? Shut this guy's there. got some weird yourself. there's no, no way, way. there's yourself. please tell me if you've been in like look no way they did this right 
this. I'm talking just this. Choking you like this. That's just a bit creepy, no? Oh my God. How is that supposed to get me ready for war, bro? Let me, you were about to kill me. Private Pile, you had best square your ass away and start shitting me, Tiffany Coupling. He's just putting words together and just dissing them. It's mad. I, I love it though, because like, Pete, like you come in and you're so chill from your normal life here. You need that like introduction to be like, bro, you're not here delivering mail. You're not here playing your PlayStation and shit. Your, my, your mom's not going to make your, you know, food and clean your room anymore, bitch. You're going to go to Vietnam fighting the guerrilla tactics that they have, jumping out trees and like and shooting you under, you know, under the woods and shit. He has to diss them and get them ready like that. It's mad. But some of the stuff he was doing, I was like, I don't know if that is him getting you ready for war. It's just he's so bored of constantly doing this to people that he's just having fun with them a little bit. Do you expect me to believe that you don't know left from right? Sir, no, sir. Then you did that on purpose. You want to be See, this doesn't sir, feel no, like he's sir. reading off a script. It's just like it just feels improvised. It's mad. Sir. Oh, shit. Sir, right side, sir. Don't fuck with me again, pile. This slaps are not connecting as well. That's not you, how you know they're hurt. Slaps that don't connect, underrated. Slaps that don't connect are underrated. When they don't connect, they will hit you somewhere and it will hurt even more. Oh, my God. This, this guy is actually being shamed and embarrassed though but I'll bet you any money bet you any money him being treated that way is gonna make him a better soldier you will give your rifle a girl's name you're married to this piece this weapon of iron and wood and you will be faithful wow that's so sick Mount. wow your feet like this as well. Straight. Look at them toes. Pointed. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My rifle is my best friend. Literally, it is. It's going to save your life as well. My rifle and myself are defenders of my country. We are the masters of our enemy. Wow, this is a great scene. You remember Hacksaw Ridge, the guy, Private Doss? Imagine he was here confronting this guy. I'll bet you any money, there's no way, there's no way he would have refused him. There's no way he would have refused him. I just got... <laughs> he's training them, yeah, but he's also having fun with them. I like him though. Look at him. He's not complaining. He's trying his hardest. Like he's, look, to be his size yet and constantly running around and still trying should give these people a little bit of motivation. Like, look how hard he's trying. Were you born a fat, slimy scumbag, you piece of shit, private Oh pile? my God. Or did you have to work on it? Move it up. Imagine how tired you have to be to be walking sideways, bro. Like you're in some next horror movie. I want you two turds to clean the head. I want that head so sanitary and squared away that the Virgin Mary herself would be proud to go in there and take a dump. <laughs> I'm a joker. Do you believe in the Virgin Mary? No, no, sir. Oh, this man's religious. Say you believe in the gun. Say you believe in the gun. You make me want to vomit. Ah. Oh. But is it right to have him teach him? Because he's he doesn't take shit seriously. He does have guts. The bolt. The bolt goes in the receiver. He's clearly patient with him and is talking to a slow manner, right? But he's he's private Joker. So this guy is called Joker because he doesn't take shit seriously and he jokes around a lot, right? Even though he's doing this. There's a reason why he called him that. 
I don't think he's the right person to be teaching him. The deadliest weapon in the world is a Marine and his rifle. Wow, that's so sick. That's so... Oh, he's got sayings for days. Your rifle is only a tool. It is a hard heart that kills. Wow, it's a hard heart that kills. That's why you got to be brutal with him because not only your life's on the line, but everyone else is around you. If your killer instincts are not clean, you will hesitate at the moment of truth. Then you will be in a world of shit. This man, I don't know who he is, right? But it, you know how like some actors get like a certain role and you're like, that role was made for you, yeah? That role wasn't even made for him. That role is just him, you know? Like, it's so natural to him, these things, like, and the way he looks as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go on, McFly, what have you done? Oh, shit. Why is your footlocker unlocked? Sir, I don't know, sir. Oh, he's lying. Is he lying? Sir, get out! Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, holy what Jesus. Is oh, what is he fine? Oh, shit. He's got a donut. Oh my God, that's gonna piss him off. Then why did you hide a jelly donut in your Footlocker private file, sir? Because I was hungry, sir. I feel I feel like putting him with that guy was a mistake because he makes him soft by talking to him like that. You need to, you literally have to talk to him like this. From now on, whenever private file fucks up, I will not punish him. I will punish all of you! Oh, shit! Open your mouth! They're paying for it! You eat it! Exercise! Go! One, two, three, four. Oh, my God. That is horrible, man. Everybody hates me now. I can't do anything right. I need help. Oh, that is sad, man. Oh, man. That is so sad. Oh my God, there he's literally, I'm so conflicted because like one part of me is like, this is good for him because he's going to learn, yeah, the hard way. But one part of me is like, is it good for him? Because you're just like, it's just constant embarrassment. Oh no, that is... Dick move. No, 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 no. They're going to beat him with that soap. They all have one. No, that is... This, you're going to literally... That man is going to become the Joker. The, the way you're going to beat him now. Are you mad? You're going to drive him insane, bro. So what, he ate the donut and you did a couple of press-ups, man? Wow, look at this. Come on, man. Remember, it's just a bad dream, bad boy. Wow. What happened to the whole brotherhood shit? Having each other's backs. This guy is soft as shit. Watch it. Watch. He's going to f*** up. During what, when he goes to war, he's going to f*** up. He's literally asking for help, man. And he's not going to rat them out as well because it's not like that. I can't hear you. Kill, I'll bet you any money, yeah? He, everyone's kill. saying kill, kill, kill. But him, he is thinking, I'm going to kill all of you, bro. He's just gone now. Like, look at his eyes. He's a, he looks like a psycho. Anybody know who Lee Harvey Oswald was? Sir, he shot Kennedy, sir. Do any of you people know where these individuals learned how to shoot? Sir, in the Marines, sir. I loved how, like, he talked about two psychos that killed the president and people, and they're zooming on him because that's what's happening to him. The free world will conquer communism with the aid of God and a few Marines. To show our appreciation for so much power, we keep heaven packed with fresh 
<laughs> That's such a good way of thinking about it. I wonder if he goes back in his little office here, what kind of disses can I come up with? Because you can't be using the same disses. This man's coming up with the new inventions. Like, he's bringing religion and comedic timings and like, what is he, Dave Chappelle? Like, he's just dissing them in ways that you, you're like, I don't understand what he's saying. And then you're like, holy shit, this diss makes sense. And I'm so offended by it, but it's hilarious. Oh shit, he's getting good at it, man. Leonard talks to his rifle. It's probably the only thing that he has a connection with. I don't think Leonard can hack it anymore. I think Leonard's a section eight. I don't think you can hack it, bro. I, I don't think he's a proper soldier, this guy. I think he's just doing things that it's been said for him to do. But he's not actually learning because he's private joker and he's not taking it seriously as he should. Wow, he's killing it. Pile, I think we finally found something that you do well. Outstanding. Wow, that compliment as well. Private Pile, you are definitely born again hard. Hell wow, born again hard. Let's go. Now he's in the front line. He's not huffing and puffing. He's barely sweating. He's keeping, it, he's keeping up with everyone. Look at this, man. Joker's the type of guy that will get you killed. I promise you. I, like, there's nothing about his character that I think he's a good soldier at all. Oh, what is he shining at? Bro, look at his keen eyes, man. That is terrifying. Hi, Joker. He's legit Joker, bro. He is the Joker right now. Like, oh, he's got live rounds. Oh my God, imagine he kills all of them. Oh my God. Seven, six, two millimeter. Full metal jacket. Oh, shit. That's what it means. If Hartman comes in here and catches us, we'll both be in a world of shit. I am in a world of shit. Oh, that makes... Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this is sad, man. This is so sad. This man is just broken, bro. Oh shit. Oh, he's gonna kill both of them. He's gonna kill both of them. He's gonna kill both of them. Oh my god, I've got goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. Private Pile has a full magazine and is locked and loaded, sir. Oh, look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. That is terrifying, bro. And step back away from it. Oh my God, bro. I think you need to step back, bro. You need to leave. Look at those eyes. That's not normal, bro. He's not breathing properly. Oh, oh shit. Didn't mommy and daddy show you enough attention when you were a child? Oh shit, man. What? This guy is hurting his shit, man. He's just done. He's so done. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, bro. What? How crazy is that? Yeah, the guy that wanted him to be hard and be, like, born hard again. That's what he said to him. They wanted to be a born killer. You literally made... In killer, bro, a psychotic one. Hey, baby, you got girlfriend, Vietnam? My girlfriend is my gun. Go away, bitch. Five dollars each. Me sucky, sucky. And 
we love you too much. I'll be like, stand still, you're making me nervous. Do you like spending some of your hard earned money? Can you hard earn money? Symbolism. Shit. Bro, how can we go? From this man blowing his brains out to sucky sucky. You know what really pisses me off about these people? Why? We're supposed to be helping them and they shit all over us every chance they get. Because you shouldn't be in a fucking country. You know what's sad as well, right? Most of these people, all that training, yeah? Going through all that hardship and that mental just desynthesization and... and Traveling in that heat in Vietnam, yeah, that war was for nothing. But yeah, someone explained to me why they went into that war because that's mad. Charlie's hit every major military target in Vietnam and hit them hard. In other words, it's a huge shit sandwich and we're all gonna have to take a bite. Sir, does this mean that Aunt Margaret's not coming? Why is he wearing a peace mark on top of a grenade? You see that? Joker, I want you to get straight up to Fubai. Captain January will need all his people. Joker, how's it going to look if you get killed wearing a peace symbol? Yeah, you ain't going to be writing anymore, bitch. He just seems so confused. What's he shooting at? Oh, he's shooting at pigs? What's he shooting at? He's just shooting at landscapes. Oh my god, he's just shooting people. Wow. Anyone who runs is a VC. Oh my god. Is a well -disciplined VC. <laughs> this guy, is, he's broken as well, mentally. Like, you're being brainwashed into a war that you have no idea why you're going into that war. Do you know what I mean? Like, with World War II, you were like, they're Nazis. Evil. A shit. Go kill him. Bang. Instant motivation. What'd you say about the Vietnamese, bro? You wanna take a good picture? Yeah, man. Oh shit. Take this. This person's dead. This is my bro. Is is this person dead? These people we wasted here today are the finest human beings we will ever know. After we rotate back to the world, we're going to miss not having anyone around us we're shooting. Their heads, their minds are so broken and they have no idea why they're here. And also that itself makes it even more sad because your mate, your brother that you trained with just got killed. It's just so sad, man, for human lives to not matter that much. Did he get hit? Where did he get hit? What? How did he get hit? I gotta respect this movie, yeah, because a lot of American war movies that you watch, right, obviously they're gonna paint Americans in the best way possible, right? This movie does the opposite, right? It shows what war does to your mindset and your mental being and, like, your being itself and how it can affect you, but also how crazy and dumb this war is and what that does to you, plus all the dumb shit that you went through during the training. I like it a Joker's arc in this as well, because he's slowly getting that thousand yard stare. Well, at least they died for a good cause. Wow, did they? Wow! Freedom, flush out your hit, you new guy. Think we waste scoops for freedom? Wow! 
It's literally showing how this war just like destroyed them. Like one of them is wearing a peace sign. The other one is like writing shit on their helmets and it has that 10,000 yards there. The other one is taking pictures of dead people. The other one is on the, the helicopter shooting civilians. And Gorma Pass said it the best. He goes, I am in a world of shit. And this whole war was just shit, man. Do I think America belongs in Vietnam? Um, I don't know, I belong in Vietnam. I mean, we're getting killed for these people and they don't even appreciate it. They think it's a big joke. And you know, like the whole thing about going to war, right? Is like you're saving your country, right? Coming back as a hero, but not only you're not saving your country, you're also coming back not a hero. You're coming back because you survived. And when you come back losing all your brothers, you're coming back as someone who's hated by the public at that time. It's just like mentally anyone would just go, bro. I, uh, I wanted to meet interesting and stimulating people of an ancient culture and kill them. I wanted to be the first kid on my block to get a confirmed kill. What a dick that guy is, man. Smiling, saying confirmed kill. Wow, she's feeling herself. Come on, she love you good. Boom, boom, long time. $10. Five dollars. No. Come on, man. She's traveled to a war zone, bro. She's sleeping with the enemy. Come on, give her 20. The NVA had pulled out of our area to positions across the Perfume River. Our squad is sent on patrol to check out the report. That's a beautiful shot, though. Oh, that was a trap. Under a toy. These are the tactics, man. Look at these tactics that they have. I wonder if they use, like, prostitutes as well to be like, sucky, 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 sucky. Five dollars, right? And then just as soon as they're about to sleep with her, she just goes, like, takes out a grenade out from her, you know, and then just chucks it at them. Also, walking in this area so chill, right? You'd still think there's like three or four Vietnamese with a sniper somewhere. Do you know what I mean? I, all these little buildings and like, I'll be on edge, bro. We're here. Like, just put your head down. Like, this, this scene is making me so uncomfortable. All I could see is just that, that little window for someone just... Changing direction. What are we lost? Joker, shut the fuck up. Oh, he's gonna get shot. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's definitely dead. He is dead. He's gonna get. That'd be embarrassing if he actually doesn't. He's gonna get hit. That's such. Why? I don't know anything about war, bro. I don't. I don't. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? And I'm just saying what I'm saying. But I just don't think that doesn't look like a good tactic to me. There you go. That It just doesn't. Because you're. It's, he's just bait. He's bait. Oh, he's got shot in the foot as well. That sniper is just trying to suck us in one at a time. It is she. He does have a point. But, like, you still shouldn't have sent him there, man. Like, there's no way you'd be able to see this as well. All you do, you just look. Oh, wow. You All you do, you just stick a little bit of the barrel out. There's no way you could see it. Oh, my God. That is a great scene, man. Where's the sniper? He's gonna shoot us. Wow, see? Yep, you found it. 
You got it. Come on, man. Come on with a tactic. Murphy, this is Cowboy, over. Oh, no. Oh, my God, man. See, when I was watching Band of Brothers, yeah, there was two Easy Company, right? Easy Company were, like, trained by an idiot, right, who didn't know about tactics and stuff, but he was a good trainer, right? Like, he wasn't a war person. He was just an amazing trainer, and it led them to become a sick brotherhood, right, who achieved shit, right? Whereas these guys, that guy probably knew about war, but he didn't know shit about training, and it's led them to, you know, to this. That is a great shot. Oh, sh Oh, see, look. He's not even prepared. It's a girl. Oh, my God, it's a girl. I told you, didn't I? What, a, what did I tell you? This guy will... It, it will be one of the reasons why they will, they will get... Look, throwing his gun. That gun, he's, cheating, he's not being faithful towards his gun. Because he didn't even turn on his missus, which is the gun. I just think it all comes down back to the training that they received. And it just wasn't good enough. And you got three people killed by this kid. A kid with a sniper. Take that hat off, bro. You were not born to kill. That is so sad, man. Just a kid protecting it, her town. Do you know what I mean? Probably her town that she used to fucking eat in and shit. And these Muppets are just taking a piss out of her while she's gasping. Oh, man, that is so sad, man. She's praying. Boom, boom for this baby son. You're literally invading their country and pissing on their corpse and you're laughing. And we can't leave her like this. Oh, and this whole time you can hear her breathing in the background. Oh my God. Oh, that is just so sad, man. Oh my god, she's begging in English. You know she's in pain when she's begging in English, bro. Deep down, you can see in their eyes as well, right? Like, they're just like, what the f am I doing here, man? I should not be here in this building. I should not be making these decisions. And he wanted to get his first kill. And his first kill is going to be a kid who's begging him to shoot. You're not the Joker now. See, once you shoot that, you will not be the Joker anymore. Once you shoot, you will not be that Joker. You would be a 10,000 yards there, man, now from now on. That peace sign, whatever you believed in, whatever you booked in believing... You have just shitted all over that. Look at him now. Look, his arc is amazing. Yeah, He started not taking shit seriously, being like that person in the background laughing, making jokes. See, that would have been Joker doing that, right? But look at him now. Look at that stare. That's the stare Gormapal had. And now he has that stare. I feel like this whole movie has been that stare. I am so happy that I am alive. In one piece. And short. I'm in a I'm world of shit. shit. What? The thing that I took from this movie, yeah. The thing that I took from this movie is that 10,000 or 1,000 yard stare, right? Because everyone had that at one point, right? It was the the trainer had it when he was like, I think I went too far with 
you know, saying all these lines and dissing them and just humili humiliating them and like doing these things, yeah. And it backfired, literally. And he had that snare before he got shot, right? And then Gorma Paul as well, right? He was just, you know, he was he, he was just a child. Like he had like a child's mentality. He ended up having that stare, right? Joker, throughout the whole movie, throughout the whole movie, man was making jokes, disrespectful, right? In the interview and everything. At the end, right? In that interview, what did he say? He was like, I just want to have my first kill. I can't wait, right? Or something like that. I'm paraphrasing it. And at the end, that thousand yard stare, he had it when you shoot that kid. It's mad how this movie painted such a dark view, but maybe a, a, I, I don't know much about the Vietnam War. I've read some, but it showed like how you can mentally break down when you don't understand what you're fighting for and you're badly trained. And obviously it's war, so you're like, oh, it's such a beautiful movie, a beautifully dark movie that I don't understand why people find the second half boring. I thought the second half was just as interesting because it shows the breakdown of these soldiers' minds after that training. And I feel like it all comes back to a dumb, dumb war that they got the, themselves involved in and also a shit way of training. And when you mix that together, what do you get? You get a world of shit because you're fighting against an enemy who's so smart and knows the surroundings. They could train kids to take down two Marines that you said God favors madness this movie is so sick enjoyed every single moment of it like I, I hope i don't know much about this but i hope that um drill instructor got an oscar because that man was born for that role um absolutely loved the movie listen hopefully i didn't offend anyone um because obviously i've never been in war i don't understand war um, I've, you know, I'm just seeing what I'm seeing and feel free to correct me, but what a movie, you know, banging. Thank you so much for watching this reaction with me. Hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. Take care.